So the Call of Duty World War II beta just came out this past weekend for PlayStation 4. And I just want to give everyone my personal opinions, unbiased opinions on this. I've been with the franchise since 2008. I've been playing for quite a bit. And I just want to give my initial thoughts on it. I haven't done a commentary like this in months, in years, essentially. It's probably going to be really bad. Hopefully at least one or two people watches it. You guys in the comments can tell me what you think about it. But this is just going to be a quick, unbiased opinion of first initial thoughts. I didn't play that much, but first initial thoughts of Call of Duty World War II. So, first thing after playing a game around, I thought it was good. Eh, not the greatest. I've played better. And some of the things that I noticed right away, the hit detection was kind of spotty for me. I don't know, it was maybe because of my internet, maybe because it's a beta. Um, more than likely, it's going to improve when the full game comes out, so I'm not too worried about it. But another thing that was a problem with me was gunfights. As I said, the, the connection was probably spotty and the hit detection was spotty because it's a beta but there was a lot of gunfights where I shot first and died first and that just can get frustrating when you put like four or five bullets it seems like I might be missing my shots but I get hit markers it seems like I'm putting four or five bullets in uh, a person and they end up killing me first which is frustrating but that that's part of Call of Duty I raged a lot but that I rage with all Call of Duties when it comes to that um, one thing I do like about this game is the whole divisions and um, some I forgot what it's called but the other thing where you like select like a card or something and it gives you a specific set of skills I don't know what it's called but I enjoy that it's different and change it up it kind of gives this game a new feel to itself which I enjoy instead of you know doing the same perks and you pick 10 system and all that or pick 13 um, I like that to me it's different so personally I didn't mind it so I was really into sniping back in Call of Duty when it was really easy I sniped a Black Ops 3 uh, I sniped in you know without aim assist but you know any game that has aim assist on snipers makes it a lot easier there's a little aim assist in this game which I noticed but the sniping to me I don't exactly don't exactly have like the right feel for it as of now I don't know what sensitivity to use I don't know whether to hold my breath or not because I notice when I don't hold my breath to get the aim assist I end up sniping better uh, so that's a thing the sniping to me I, I think I just need to practice more um, I enjoyed it it was different it wasn't extremely difficult but it wasn't extremely easy it gives yourself a challenge so it's kind of like a new learning curve for me so I like that part of it spawns wise Spawns were all over the place, so I don't know, maybe because it was only three maps and you, I didn't really learn the spawns, but hey, they could be better in the beta, uh, not the beta, in the regular game, the beta to me, they just weren't the greatest, that's just my personal opinion. Score streaks and domination, I'm a huge domination player, and getting score streaks and domination sucks. I've gone on eight, eight. I've gone like 8-0 and oh and couldn't even get a UAV because I was running around not near the objective. And I just can't get enough kills because it's 50 points a kill instead of 100. So I hope they can fix something when it comes to domination and the score streaks. Because I understand, oh, they want you to play the objective. But let's say your team already has two flags. You have the lead. I don't want to just camp on a flag and wait for people to come at me so I get extra points towards my skill streak. I want to be running around, getting to the action. I don't want wait to wait for the enemy to come to me. And I think it's just kind of, it, it like... It kind of encourages camping and domination because once you have two flags, just camp on the flag and kill people off of it to get the extra points. And for me, I just don't want to do that. I think it's boring. So hopefully they can, you know, tweak the scoring system and domination somehow to cater more towards the score streaks. Uh, also, score streaks weren't to me weren't the greatest. They weren't very powerful. You know, you know, killer course score streaks make for me personally a better online game because it's like gives you more ascended to go for it and you know makes you grind a little bit more to say get that that big score streak that just obliterates people like the AC-130 and MW-2 or the chopper gunner like that like it was just such a great feeling getting that um, other than that there's probably a couple other things that I didn't mention it's just been so long since I've actually done a commentary like this and I just want to give you my quick opinions on how I felt the game and to me it, it's good I like boots on ground. It's fun. Um, as you can see right there in the kill cam, I felt like I shot that guy first and got him, and I was just in disbelief. 
So it's also frustrating too, but that's normal. It's a beta. I'm gonna give the full game a chance. Um, but it wasn't. It didn't knock my socks off. It was fun. Could be better. You know. You know the full game will have. You know. It will be just better than the beta, but it was just a quick test run. Also, I really enjoyed the game mode war. I thought that was fun. It was kind of cinematic. Enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I probably missed a bunch of points that I want to talk about, but that's okay. Have a good day. Tell me what you think. If anyone is actually watching this, leave a comment, and I'll hopefully make another video soon.